Today, we'll review our camera settings for dental photography using a Nikon DSLR camera. Photo quality is fantastic for reviewing your work, patient education, study clubs, or sharing online. The No Fuss setup has an ultra-fast autofocus, it's lightweight and super speedy. This is what we use every day in our busy California practice. It's 100% functional, totally practical, and can be used room to room all day long. We use a Nikon D5300 body and a Nikkor 85mm macro lens. Added on is a budget ring flash. It's a great balance between affordability and high quality to get professional results. Overall weight is important. We like the 85mm lens over the often recommended 105 or 100mm lens because the 85 is much lighter and can be used easily by all team members. It's light enough to even use one-handed. I personally use it every day. We also feel it's a more comfortable distance from the patient as opposed to the 100mm. For around $100, an off-brand ring flash shows no clinical difference in quality or performance. Just be sure to get the right one. At full power, the ring flash will be too bright and your photos will be washed out, so be sure to turn the power down a bit. We like keeping it around negative 2. Switch the dial over to M for manual mode and flip the switch on your lens to autofocus. Tap the I button to access the camera settings. In M mode, you have complete control over all the settings. For image quality, we'll select Find JPEG for everyday use. For print publications, you may want to use the RAW. Moving over to image size, we'll keep it at large. For white balance, we'll also use Auto as it's generally pretty good. If you want to get really picky, you can preset the white balance using a white card, but it's not really necessary. Some Nikon users feel the photos are a little warm and want control over that white balance. You can try it out if you like. For ISO, lower is better. Lower ISO is less grainy, so 100 to 250 is preferred. Exposure and flash compensations in the lower right boxes will be set to zero, and flash mode can be fill flash. To get super fast autofocus, we'll really want to dial in our autofocus settings. In metering, choose spot metering so you can take advantage of any particular focus spot in the frame. Center is easiest. Autofocus should be set to single point autofocus and focus mode should be single servo autofocus. There's a little trick to get better quality photos that most people tend to miss. For picture control, try using the vivid setting as opposed to the standard. It's more realistic in terms of color and sharpness. To get really sharp photos, Go into the shooting menu under set picture control. Select vivid and press the right arrow. It will open up some finer adjustments to the setting. The sharpening adjustment can be turned up for pinpoint sharpness. It looks great in macro. Once everything is set up, be sure to take a lot of test photos and practice. Take notes on composition of your pictures and make sure you're framing the subject correctly. Be sure to use good tissue retraction and your air water syringe to dry the field. When shooting, you could fill the entire frame with the desired subject, in this case uh, an extraction site. However, for ease of use, I prefer to take a photo with a wider view so I can crop it down later. Because the photo quality is so good, I never have to do any post-processing in Photoshop or Lightroom. The photos can be used raw off the camera, aside from the cropping. Hope this was helpful. Happy shooting and subscribe to our channel.